Hey, it's Vertical, and today I'm going to be teaching all you beginners how to get started in 3D LEGO animation in Blender. For this tutorial, you're going to need a PC or laptop with these stats, the patience of Qui-Gon Jinn waiting to get impaled, and the speed settings of this video. Alright, let's hop in. Alright, now you're obviously going to want to look up Blender and hit their download link here and get all of that set up. There will be a link to the Blender devs tutorial on that if you can't figure it out. Now that you've done that, you're going to want to look up Mechabricks and create an account with them. With this new account, go to their shop tab and purchase Blender Lite. By the way, you aren't actually purchasing anything because it's free, don't worry, I don't have the money for this either. Once you have purchased it, click on your account name and go to the purchases tab and finally download the zipped file. Now that you have this zipped file, find it, extract its contents to a new file, go to the, into that folder, click on Mechabricks Lite, file. Now if you've made it this far, just know I have full confidence in you making it the rest of the way. The same amount of confidence I have in Baby Yoda coming back for season 3 of The Mandalorian because, come on, Disney's not gonna miss out on that payday. Alright, now that I'm done wasting your time, go into Blender, but don't be scared, it won't bite you. Well, not yet anyways. Now we're simply gonna install a new preference into Blender that will give us the correct scale, size, configuration, and texture of the LEGO bricks imported from Mechabricks. Pretty cool, right? To do this, go up to the Edit tab and click on Preferences. From here, go to Add-ons and click on Install. Now find that Mechabricks 2.04 or whatever zip file we found earlier. Now that you've found it, click on the blue button in the top right that says Install Add-on from File. Now in the Blender Add-ons tab, you're going to type in Mechabricks and it'll show up on this list. And now all you have to do is press the check mark and refresh your add-on settings. Alright, now go take a victory lap because you just finished the setup. That's right, just the setup. We've not animated a single frame of animation yet. Yo, yo, Venom, I, I need you to take over in my Blender tutorial. Uh, sure, I guess. Alright, I'm sorry that you won't be hearing Bert's epic voice for the remainder of this video, but you didn't come here for that, unless you did. Um, anyways, now we're going back to the Mechabricks website. The next thing you're gonna do is click on the library tab and look through these models like Obi-Wan Kenobi looking through videos of Anakin slaughtering children. Find a model you like and click on it, then wait for the render to load. Once this is loaded, go ahead and click on the editor tab here. This will take you to an editing platform where you can then download the model so it can be imported to Blender. Click on the file, then export, then go to the type of file you want to export the model as and choose .zmbx or Blender add-in. Now hop back into Blender. It's okay, you're safe now. In Blender, head up to the file and then on the bar that comes down, select import and then select the option that says mechabricks.zmbx and find the file that you just saved. And now you've done it! Amazing, right? Probably feeling on top of the world now. Well, sorry to break it to you, but we're not even close to done. First, what you're going to want to do is extend your clipping settings. What is this, you ask? I literally have no idea, but Vertical said it was important. Head over to the sidebar or use Ctrl plus N and go to View. Once you've done that, click on the End property and add a couple zeros to the end of that number. Epic, so now you can see your set from far away. Now get ready, because we're about to add a camera to this scene. Press Shift plus A to add something, and then go all the way down to the camera and select it. Now we've spawned in a camera. We can see what the camera sees by pressing numpad 0, which is the 0 on the right of your keyboard. Now that you're seeing what the camera sees, press Lock Camera to View button on the View panel. Now go ahead and put your camera wherever your heart desires, but remember that whatever the camera sees is what your final picture will be. If your camera starts to clip as well, we can extend its clip properties down in the camera settings and simply add zeros to the clip end, like we did in our viewport. Now here comes the scary part. I'm not even going to try to explain this in depth, because if I do, I'll be looking like Anakin at the end of episode 3. Alright, for the basic setting, go over to the render engine property and change it from EV to cycles, and then under that, go to denoising and check the top denoising box for your final render. This setting will make your final render look almost as good as James Coward. Hello, man, sir! Almost. That's cool, but we still need to add a background and light the scene. And we're going to do this by adding an environment texture. Go up to the top left of the screen and select the 3D viewport button, and change it to shader editor. From here, change the settings from object to world. Now we're going to press shift plus A again and go to texture, and then select environment texture. And now we need to find HDRIs that will light out the scene. You can find HDRIs on websites like HDRI Haven and others. Vertical will include a link in the description. Now press open on the environment texture mode and select the saved HDRI file. Connect these two nodes by clicking and dragging from the color endpoint on the environment node to the color endpoint on the background node. Now we've finished adding the lighting environment, so head back to the 3D viewport. 
Now to render the final image, select the fully shaded icon in the top right here, and then finally, go to render and click render animation. This will take a while, but once it's done, you'll have your fully rendered image. And with that, congrats! You just learned how to import a LEGO model into Blender, but if you want to see how to animate this using interpolated frames, bar graphs, and keyframes, get this video to 200 likes! And Vertical will make a part 2, covering all of that. Finally, now that we're done, Vertical and I just wanted to tell you guys that we are not qualified for this at all, so if you missed any steps or couldn't figure out something, there are links in the description to other tutorials and Vertical's Discord server where he will be answering any questions you guys may have. Okay, thanks for watching, subscribe to Vertical Bricks on YouTube and all that. Please don't create anything too weird with your newfound knowledge. Bye.